Gents, it's Betsy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you like and subscribe and also hit that notifications button as well. So this is my first YouTube video on my channel. Um, and I think my first one's going to be about um, my gastric bypass surgery. Um, so you guys can know a little bit more about me. Um, I had my gastric bypass surgery in 2008. And at that time, and prior to that, I was 281 pounds. That's, that's a big girl. Um, and very unhealthy. I had um, uh, diabetes and high blood pressure um, because of my weight. Um, and I think I gained my weight. It was probably after I had my first kid. And then for my second one, it just ballooned. Um, and I'll show pictures, too, in one of these sections. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad at that point and um I didn't really care anymore I was just eating whatever I would eat like a whole bag of Doritos and eat McDonald's you know a large fry burger large drink supersize everything and didn't care so it was like wow so um so that continued for years and years and years um and then in 2008 or actually 2007 um I started to lose my eyesight and that's when I kind of took it seriously like something has got to change because I've tried everything before that I tried Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig and all of those things those did not work for me um, they work for some people but it didn't work for me um, so yeah I started to lose my eyesight and um, that's when I took it seriously um, and I was thought I thought my eyesight was going because I was getting older. So here I am, stupid, going to the doctor. Oh, the eye doctor thing. Oh, hey, you know I'm not being able to see very well. So I spent three hundred dollars on a pair of glasses for no reason. Um, and then it started, you know, after I wore the glasses, it started happening again. I was seeing okay for a while, and then it started to go blurry again. So this time I went to my primary care. <laughs> Um, and, um, they tested me and at this point I was pre-diabetic, you know, you know, prior to this, I was pre-diabetic. Um, yeah. And so she goes, you are full blown diabetic and you need to get on medication like now. That's why you're starting to lose your eye size because you have full blown diabetes. I was type two. Um, I was a type two diabetic. Um, so I had to take the medications. I had to prick my fingers a couple of times a day. It was ridiculous. It hurt like anything. Um, so yeah, it was, it was bad. So after that, um, I was on medication. There was, you know, calming it a little bit, but, um, it wasn't really getting much better. It was just like stabilizing it. Um, so I looked into gastric bypass at that time, but I was very scared. So this was 2007. So it took me a year to even contemplate actually doing it. So after that year, I decided, okay, I, I need to do something because it's not getting any better. I'm sitting here almost 300 pounds um, and I'm 5'10". Um, so it, 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 to me, people say, well, you didn't look that you were that big. Uh, yeah, I was big. I was a 3X in a size 24, I believe. I think it was a 24. Either 24 or 26. That's big. And for me, it was unhealthy big because my diabetes and high blood pressure. So I went into Innova. Um, they have a great bariatric unit at Innova Fair Oaks is where I had my surgery. Um, plug there. And um, so I went in and talked to the doctors. First, I went to the um, seminar, the free seminar, and then um, signed up to have a free consult with the doctor. And my doctor was Dr. Moazes, and he works at Nova Bariatric Unit. And um, so I went and talked to him and um, got the insurance stuff. You know, I qualified for it because I had uh, comorbidities. Um, which for my gas, my um, high blood pressure and my um, diabetes, and plus my BMI, I think was 
39, but you needed 40. But because I had those two comorbidities, um, I qualified. So insurance rates paid for my surgery. Um, so in 2008, I went under and had my gastric bypass. I had the Rowan Y um, gastric bypass surgery. Uh, yeah, um, it went very well. Um, uh, so the first week, um, I kind of got scared because the first week, my first week, first seven days, I lost 29 pounds in seven days. I was like freaking out. I called the doctor. I'm like, like, what's up? Why am I losing so much weight? He says, well, because the type of surgery you have, um, you're going to lose a lot of weight. And sometimes it's quickly and sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But for you, it seems like it's going quick. So yeah, my first week, 29 pounds. I have never lost 29 pounds in a week. Um, so you, it's funny because you go through a lot of uh, emotional things when you're going through this. Um, I knew I needed to get healthy for my kids because I had my two children, my daughter and my son. And I needed to be healthy for them. So doing this surgery was saving my life um, and keeping my kid's mom around for a longer period of time. So the surgery went very well. I lost all of my weight um, in eight months, uh, which was 123 pounds. Um, and my goal weight, I think, was 170, something like that. I, was it 170? I think it was 170 or something like that um and of course I got down to that well actually before that I plateaued for like almost a year where I didn't lose anything and I didn't gain any weight um which is very frustrating I'm sure many of you guys um have have had that uh happen to you if you had gastric bypass surgery and let me know in the comments below too if you guys like plateaued for a while and then you were like almost giving up and then all of a sudden the weight starts coming off again let me know what you, if you guys have had that problem too. But anyway, so after the plateau, I started losing my weight. And then I have been actually um, 165 pounds ever since then. I mean, you go up a couple of pounds, you know, five or six pounds, you know. Um, I know if, I, if I'm getting close to 170, I'm like, okay, let me stop. What am I eating? What am I not doing correctly? Um, but then, you know, you think about that. You do what you're supposed to do. You can get back down to 165. I can't, I don't think I've been below 165. Um, I don't think I have. I may have when I first started out after I lost most of my weight. I've been to a size four and I have never, I don't even think ever been a size four before. But then that, that was, I was looking too skinny at that point. So, um, yeah, I gained my weight, you know, and been a steady like 165 for years. I mean, like I said, I had my surgery in 2008 and we're like, what, 12 years out now? And I um, still have been able to maintain um, my weight, which is great. And I do not exercise as far as this is concerned. I don't go to gyms. I don't lift weights. I don't do, you know, running. The only thing I do is walk. I walk every day. Um, that's all I do. If I'm taking the dog for a walk, if I'm at work, I'm walking around the building, I'm doing like three laps or four laps around the building. Um, that's what I do. I walk. Um, running, I, I can't do. You know, I, I can run and then I stop and I'm like, okay, I'm done. So running is, was not for me. But walking, I love walking. And um, I've been able to maintain my weight for 12 years by walking. Um, and not just the walking part, but it's my... Um, food consumption and the portion size that's probably the most important thing is your portion size um, even when I go if I go get a burger or something now I have to cut it in half because I can't eat the whole thing I, I, I get you know do not <laughs> do not eat overeat because you will get the dumping syndrome that is like the worst thing ever that ever happened in my life I thought I was going to die with the dumping syndrome it's like you see I was sweating like headaches I was throwing up and it's not ugh, the vomit is like completely different than when it is when you're when you haven't had the surgery it's completely different it, it's almost like it's this solid yuckiness that comes up like you choke on it it's gross so don't ever get the dumping syndrome so don't ever overeat 
but anyway um so it's it's been just like walking and in portion size and like i said eating like something half i always cut everything i eat in half um except if, if it's already a small portion but like any burgers or anything i cut in half um pizza i could eat like a slice and a half maybe it depends on you know if i eat the crust or I eat the crust then it's probably just one slice um yeah, so it's like you really have to think about what you're putting in your mouth and how much you're putting in. Because I used to eat, like I said, if I went to McDonald's, I'd have a burger, a large fry super size, a large drink super size, and just eat it all. And then come back and have a, a full bag of Doritos, the whole bag. And I'm not talking about the little small bags. I'm talking about the big bag of Doritos and like clear it, be done. And that was ridiculous. Um... So before the surgery, you really do have to think about what you want and what your goals are because you don't want to go back to um, eating like you were eating before. I've had a few friends who have had the same surgery as I did and um, they gained all their weight back plus more. And there's one person I know who had the surgery twice and still gained the weight back. So you really have to be ready in your mind for this surgery it's not just like okay this is oh i'm gonna have surgery i'm gonna lose weight boom uh no that's not how it is you do have the surgery you lose weight but the surgery is the easiest part the surgery is the easiest part the hard part is keeping the weight off for all these years i've kept it off for 12 years and every day it's a struggle to keep it off every day you have to think okay this is what i'm going to eat you know, this is how I'm going to do this and I'm going to make sure I walk. Um, because you could tell if you do gain some pounds, maybe, well, I didn't walk for a couple of days or, you know, I, maybe I ate too much or something like that. So you really have to think about what you want. And I definitely do not want to be that unhealthy person again. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, if anyone's thinking about having gastric bypass surgery, think about it really hard. Pray about it. Talk to your doctor, talk to your family, because you do need a lot of support. My um, my dad and my kids were my support at that time. So when I was having through my when we're going through my surgery, so it you do need that support from friends as well. Um, make sure you do what the doctor says. You don't want the dumping syndrome. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my gastric bypass story in a nutshell. Didn't want to make this first video too long, but yeah. It, it was interesting because how I go from looking like I was prior to my gastric bypass surgery until now, it's like my nose was bigger and it's like, it looks like a completely different person. And I, I mean, I actually lost a person. I lost 123 pounds. So I, I actually lost a person in weight. And um, yeah, I was, and, and it means completely changed my life. I went, like I said, a size 3X, which was a 24 or 26. Um, and now I'm in a, a size 6, 8, which is a small or medium, depending on the clothes. Sometimes I can wear a small, sometimes I can wear a medium. So it really depends. But it's not just all for looks because I was so unhealthy. Um, I don't have diabetes anymore. I had uh, uh, some years where my my um my high blood pressure was gone like completely gone for years until about ooh, three years ago and then it came back um because we have high blood pressure in my family my dad had it my or has it um my uncles my aunts my grandma my grandpa all of them had high blood pressure so when i had asked my doctor like well i lost all this weight i haven't gained any weight back why did my high blood pressure come back? He's like, well, because, you know, it is something that is hereditary. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, now I'm back on my high blood pressure medicine. So, that was one of the things I didn't like. But, you know, you just got to deal with it. Um, but, yeah, gastric bypass surgery saved my life, saved my eyesight for one thing. Because I know you can have a lot of other problems where you can lose your limbs, lose your eyesight, and all that stuff if you don't take care of your diabetes so make sure if you do have type 1 or type 2 you take care of your diabetes and um, eat healthy exercise and all that good stuff but 
yeah, that's my um my gosh it bypass surgery story in a nutshell. Like I said, I didn't want to make this too long, but um yeah, that was about it. So like, comment, subscribe, you guys. I hope you um enjoyed this video, my first video on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'll have more videos. Um, I'm not sure which days I'm gonna be um recording, but I will let you know in a future video. This um channel is going to be about like lifestyle about um about fashion about wigs you know i love wigs i have like 120 wigs so um about things like that just going through life's journey and i hope you guys come along for the ride with me so we'll see how this goes but thank you again for watching like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you'll know when i post a video thank you sassy is out